Alignment from Objects. Let's get started with creating alignments from objects. Open the 07.01-alignments DWG file in Lesson 07 Practice folder. From the ribbon, select Create an Alignment from Objects. Select the magenta polyline at the center line of Rose Drive, the main site access road, and the baseline were already established during Phase 1 of the project. Click towards the western end of the polyline so that the orientation of alignments stations is from west to east. It is always recommended to have alignments run west to east and south to north to make plans and profiles more readable in layouts. Afterwards, press Enter at the command line twice. The second time would be to accept the alignment direction. If you missed it or have the alignment in the wrong direction, don't worry and keep working we will be able to change the direction of the alignment. Next, in the new window, name the alignment rows drive. Then, choose a centerline alignment type. Alignments can be either of type centerline, offset, curb return, rail, or miscellaneous. Alignments are categorized based on their function. You can use centerline types for a road centerline, the rail type for a railway, or the miscellaneous type for other uses such as a utility conduit. Also note that after creating the alignment, you can change it by using the Alignment Properties window. Do not specify a site, as we are not looking to have any interaction with other items. After that, use the Major and Minor Label set to display tick marks at minor stations and values at major stations. Next, make sure to uncheck the Add Curves Between Tangents checkbox. Use this option in situations where we want to create curves between adjacent lines. It is obvious that the curves are already created in our case when we first created the baseline. Consequently, we don't need to create any more curves. Finally, check the Erase the Existing Entities checkbox to erase the original polylines. Once you create the alignment, the polyline is not needed anymore and can be disregarded. If for any reason we need it, we can simply offset the alignment to recreate it. Now, switch to the Design Criteria tab. First, we can specify a design speed at the alignment, starting station, or other stations. This option is mostly used for the design of major roads when calculations such as super elevations are needed. To make these calculations, we can perform a criteria based design. We can use this method to meet a certain criterion when a standard file is supplied by a Department of Transportation. In this case, the default file is the Civil 3D Metric 2011 Roadway Design Standards XML file. To specify a design criteria file, click on the small button with the three dots. Then, you are directed to the default criteria folder where you can choose the criteria file you would like to apply. You can make a copy of any of these files, adjust them to your own local criteria requirements by using a text editor, or save it in the same folder. Finally, you can specify a design checked and received messages when a design criterion is not met. Before closing this window, make sure the Use Criteria Based Design is unchecked. To finish, click OK to create the Rose Drive alignment. It is then shown with stations showing every 20 meters or 50 feet, depending on the units of your practice drawing. Use the same previous steps to create an alignment for Lavender Court using the magenta line in the center line. In the end, you should have an alignment running south to north, with stations showing every 20 meters or 50 feet depending on your practice file units.